community college that I pass up every morning bringing my son to school, um, it reminds me of the beginning of my career because I went to the community college to get some uh, pre, you know, studies done so I can possibly transfer somewhere else. Well, when I started to enjoy photography, um, there was no other college locally to really go to that taught me studio lighting. And that was very frustrating, but I knew what I wanted to do. And to go home to your parents, you know, and tell them, hey, I'm not going to that big expensive college because they can't teach me what I want to learn. And they're like, okay, well, thanks for saving us money. But now what? I said, well, apparently I need to go meet other photographers and learn under them. I need to become an apprentice. And every time I see that community college, I apologize for this flair. Um, it reminds me of my beginning struggles and why I am so passionate about staying focused on your dreams is because I am that person. I am 100% that person that had the biggest obstacle against me, meaning it was hard. It was hard. Anytime life is hard, it's hard. And look, believing in yourself is one thing, but you have to do the steps to make it work. I did go knock on doors. I did go meet a photographer or two. And before I did all that, I went and worked at a one hour photo lab back in the day when we had those. And uh, that's actually where the one person who got me started, he got the, the bug in me to do this industry. His name is Wally Porter. Um, I'm still working with him today. All from a small decision that I decided to do, which was stick to it. And my career, my life, everything that I've been able to do with this career is all from small decisions along the way. So today, just know you don't have to make big, huge decisions. Small ones open doors. You choose to go through them or keep going. But that's the reality. My life is my life because I wanted this. I made it happen. And yes, it was a lot of hard work. And just because I've been in business for 27 years, does that mean it's much, much easier? Because when everything is taken away from you, like COVID, or in our case, a hurricane sometimes, you have to find a way to bob and weave. And if you can't bob and weave in life, just go work for somebody else, man, and pull your hours. Self-employed is not for you. So look, let me show you what Eric and I are doing. So when you walk in the front door over here, this is gonna be the new layout. So when Chopping Brides come in here to see him or me, um, I'm gonna put four 20 by 20 canvas prints up on this big blank wall. And of course, that's Eric's space. And uh, I'm gonna have some albums over here on top of his desk. And it's just more of an inviting area. Some things we still need to get rid of. New Year, baby. So this, this is new to me. So my external drive was my uh, Lacey or Lacey, however you wanna say it. And great little drive, but it's a spinning drive, which makes it slower than SSD. This is the new Sabrent. And let me show you. What I love about these guys is that they come in this cool little case. So you can take the um, flash drive out of the case, put it in here, label it on the outside, what months or year this is. And that is gonna be awesome for me because, and I have two terabyte flash drives that are in one double enclosure. What's nice about this is what takes this five minutes, this takes less than a minute. That's the difference in speed. This is a little Cal digit guy that I got because it handles USB and USB-C ports. So you can connect your drives into this one thing and then run your cord to the computer and it accesses those. And all you have to do is eject the drives from here when you're done, and that's it. So look, 
Time is money. Time is energy. Time wasted is annoying. So one of the things this year going into January was I need faster drives so I can work quicker and get it done. That Lassie drive, which I love, um, five minutes compared to less than a minute on 32 gigs to copy and move. That is life-changing. And what also happens for me is that I can edit video and my RAW files off of the PCI flash drive, that SSD double. So what's nice about that double case is that I can just pull out the drives once they're done, put them in a cool little case, label them months in the year, put new drives in that double case, keep rocking. That's cool. So check this out. This requires no tools. It is tool free. This is a double enclosure for the S for the um, PCI flash drives. I'm gonna literally do this with one hand if I can. It's this guy right here. Lift it up, twist, take it off. Look at that, I actually did it with one hand. And there is, and there is the flash drives that are two terabytes each. And I have them written individually. So once I fill up the two terabytes, it'll go to the next one. But that first one I can pull out, put it in these cool little cases and put a new one in there and keep going. So instead of buying one of these every year, all I gotta do is buy one of these or two of these or three of these, whatever works. Cool, huh? One more thing, this guy. The Samsung T7, this is an SSD drive. This is a one terabyte drive. And what I use this for is when I come back from a job and before they go in here, okay, here, here's my RAWs, it's reading off of this drive. So what I'll do is make a copy. This is my server now, okay? Make a copy over there, but work on here. And then once I'm done, take what's on here, drag it to that dude, delete from here, keep working. Keep things off of your laptop so it runs smooth. 